In our last video, I showed you how to put together a very simple accessory bus for use on both DC and DCC layouts. In this video, we're going to look at how to easily add the Alpha Mimic ground signals to this installation. Alpha Mimic ground signals come in a number of different double O varieties right through the steam and diesel period in two, three and four aspects and also in US outline in HO. The ground signals can be bought separately in packs of four or twelve and there's also a value pack of twelve that includes the necessary Alpha Mimic control board to make them work on a simple plug and play interface. We already have a very simple and easy to use bus to control our points using Cobalt IP Digital motors. Last time we set this bus up with the Cobalt IP Digital on channel 1. You might notice that for the purposes of demonstration I've added a second set of wires to the Cobalt Alpha Sniffer. Of course on your layout the ground signal mimic control board can connect anywhere on your sniffer accessory bus. Out of the packaging, this is how the Alpha Mimic board looks. It comes with a connection cable that allows you to easily daisy chain multiple Mimic boards together if you need more than 12 outputs. Each output has a left and right, but for the ground signals you can use either the left or the right output, leaving the other free for a second ground signal, if you need an opposing ground signal on your layout. The Alpha Mimic ground signal kits also include the ground signals to match the type that you need for your layout. Seen here is a three aspect type which is commonly seen on Britain's railways from the LMS period right through to the modern day. On one end of the ground signal wire we have a simple plug which can only be plugged in one way around. This matches the socket on the Mimic board. Choosing the appropriate channel, line up the plug and gently push it all the way home. No soldering at all is required in this installation. Once you're happy that the ground signals are plugged in and in place, you can then turn on the system. There's a simple switch on the board, just here. This ground signal is currently set to channel 1. That, coincidentally, is also the same channel on which the Cobalt Digital has been set to run. This means that should we so choose, we can change the point and the associated ground signal with just one button press. With the Alpha Mimic ground signal kit, it's impossible to get the polarity wrong on the ground signal installation and the handy positive action plug means that no soldering whatsoever is required. You also don't need any resistors to avoid damaging the ground signals, it just plugs in and works. There we have it, a simple installation that allows us to control the points on any layout regardless of the loco control method and one that we can expand to include prototypically accurate ground signals.